understand correctly, Riley, I think this is probably the look that you're going for, right? Where you have the text of Paradise Lost here, and then uh, notes that have to do with certain terms. And your question is how to format these notes. I think you're right on to not do a big long text box with extra hard returns. I think the best way to do this will be to have separate text boxes for each of your notes. Uh, and you can anchor these text frames to specific parts um, of the text. So I don't have this one anchored right now, but I'll show you how to create an anchored text frame that's fairly simple. If you have a lot of these, it could get pretty tedious. But uh, when they're anchored, it will allow you to alter the text in whatever way you want. And then these notes will still stay in line with um, the text that they relate to. So um, to do this, what you want to do is decide, first of all, how large you want these text frames. Uh, once you've done that, you just put your cursor uh, next to whatever word you uh, will be talking about. So for example, if ProSite uh, in this example has uh, some kind of note next to it, I just put my cursor in front of it. Uh, I go up to Object and Anchored Object and select Insert. And that'll bring up my dialog box here. So I want to anchor uh, a text frame. So I'm going to change the content to text. Uh, I don't have an object style set up for it, but I do have a paragraph style that I have set up called Notes Anchored Object. And that paragraph style looks just like this text here. <clears throat> and I would suggest you do that as well to set up a paragraph style um, that's different from the text you know, the actual text that you're using so that uh, it, it's clearly different. Um, you can set a default height and width for these objects. Uh, the height will obviously change depending on how much text you have. You can go in and adjust that later, but for now I'll just set that default height as 15p0. The width you'll want to take more care uh, to set because obviously that will determine uh, the space between the text of the note and the text um, of the actual Paradise Lost. And it's it's really important that that text remain consistent throughout, or sorry, that that space remain consistent throughout the whole thing. So in this case I've set the width as 5p3. That seems to work well for me. Um, the position, you can select uh, how you want these to position. I'm going to select this top right corner. What that does is it means that my text frame when I when it's created will um, align the, the top right corner of that text frame will align with this particular line of text where I have my word that I have a note for so uh, in this case that's what I want to do um, under here with my reference point this is specifically for text so because my particular design here is set so that my notes are always to the right of my text I'm just going to select um, this marking uh, in these particular frames so that those text or, or those anchored text frames will always appear on the right side of the page, uh, which is kind of nice. Now, if you are going to do it differently, let's say you want to have uh, an anchored frame that appears on the right of the text on the right page, on the right hand page, uh, but on the left, on the left hand page, so it would be just this same, this same design but swapped you can hit relative to spine and that will allow you to change um, to change these so that it it's relative to the spine but I don't want to do that so I'm going to select the top right corner and then this right corner there uh, and then I'm going to select under X relative to the page margin because I want my uh, text frame my anchor text frame to always align with this page margin so it's cool that you can do that I'm not going to set an offset and then the Y relative to, I'm going to change to the line cap height. And what that will do is align the top of my text frame with the cap height of this particular line so that it'll be right in line. So it's cool that it does all this automatically. So then I'll hit OK. And now I have my anchored text frame. And if I zoom in, you can see the little Y with some slashes through it. That's my anchored site. So I know that this particular text frame is anchored to that one. And then I can go and copy and paste whatever text I have for my notes. So I'll just pull this one, copy it over there. Now what's cool is um, if I go to my selection tool and I click on this, I can see where it's uh, anchored to. And that's because I have my text threads showing. 
So remember to turn those on. I can go to View and Extras and uh, show assigned threads. Um, or I'm sorry, it will say show assigned threads so that you can look at those. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I just have uh, show text threads um, showing. So just make sure your text threads are showing, and then you can just double check to make sure that that's anchored. But of course, you also have this little adornment there that shows you that it's anchored too. So what's cool about this is if I make major adjustments to my text, um, let's say I delete this whole paragraph, for example, this particular note stays right in line with that uh, with that text. So. Like I said, this could be a reasonably tedious um, process, but uh, I think this is going to give you a nice clean layout. Um, it's going to look really nice when you're done, and it'll all still be dynamic, so you won't have to worry about doing major reformatting if you you know, decide to change the size of your particular typeface here, or the font, or something like that down the road. So hope that helps.